Hey folks, it's Finn. Check out this week's epic new t-shirt, Stormtroopers, and it's Finn. Finn the Stormtrooper. Now if you've not seen Star Wars, I've just given the game away. Sorry. I thought it might be useful this week to talk about scar healing after having lower surgery. I've obviously got the arm graft from having radial artery phalloplasty, and I've also got incisions going down into my groin where they did the nerve hookup and also under my buttocks where they took the skin graft. So there's quite a lot of scar area to kind of take care of. So I thought I'd share with you how I'm doing that. For top surgery, I used Tamanu oil and I absolutely swear by it. I used this brand, which is Sebra, and I found it to be one of the best oils. I've used quite a few. And it's just got, it's a really nice quality oil, it's organic and it hasn't got a hugely strong smell because Tamanu oil is quite a strong smelling thing, it's, it's very much kind of a, a developed taste but I like it, I swear by this stuff. Tamanu oil is really, really great for skin regeneration and scar healing and um, cell growth. I'll put a link at the bottom to a link about Tamanu oil. It really, really is great stuff, and I do absolutely swear by it still. However, over the last kind of month, I've just been getting quite frustrated at that my scars on my underneath my buttocks, especially, are still really, really tight. It's loosened a lot. I'm doing exercise. I'm back at yoga, and I'm swimming, and that is helping. And I'm trying to massage that area as best I can, but obviously, getting under your bum to massage is not particularly easy. And although there is a lot of improvement there, it still feels tight and. It never felt properly moisturised as you know as much as I was trying, it just wasn't seeing that moisturised. So this week I got myself some E45. We have this in the UK, I presume there's the equivalent elsewhere. It's one of these kind of dermatologically tested perfume free jobbies and it's for extremely dry and irritated skin. I just started using loads of that, just absolutely covering my ass in it and massaging it in and oh my god. It's just amazing. I don't know why I didn't think about doing something like this before. It's helped so, so much. I've only been doing it for about a week and a half and already it's made so much difference. And I thought I'd try some on my graft as well. And instantly, I hadn't noticed I'd been having a problem with the graft really, but putting the E45 on, it's so much more moisturized than it has been with the oil. So I've kind of changed my routine a bit. Now I think the thing is with the Tamanu is because it wasn't on a huge area, it was just on those incisions underneath. It um, was working fine for that but because it's obviously a larger area on my arm and on my butt and everywhere else I think the oil isn't enough to massage that huge amount of area in itself. So what I'm now doing is applying the E45 first, working that in to my bum and everything and my graft and then once that's dry, once that's all worked in, then I'm using the Tamanu oil on top of that for its skin properties. So it's the E45 is for the moisturising properties and the Tamanu oil is for the oil benefits of skin healing and what have you. And I am still finishing off with Coat, which I swear by as well, I use that on my top surgery scars. So once the E45 is worked in and then the oil is worked in, once that's all dry, I then apply a thin layer of Coat. I concentrate mainly on the outside areas where the actual line of the scar is but I also do go lightly in the middle as well I mean this stuff isn't cheap so to cover your whole arm with it is it can get expensive this lasts me about six to eight weeks and it's roughly about 20 pounds in the UK some doctors will prescribe it my doctor used to prescribe it but they've had a change in their policy now and they won't and to be honest I've had so much of this off my doctor I actually really don't mind shelling out myself as I say over like six eight weeks it lasts well so yes I do concentrate more only the tiniest bit anyway concentrate more on the outside and then just kind of work it in as well and as I say I've noticed such a difference even in the arm graft which I thought was doing really well on the oil itself I don't know if, you, if it really comes across in camera but I had well you can see it's kind of different colors in some places and it just seems to me that the skin tone has evened out a lot more since using the E45. Um, it does, it just feels so much smoother in general as well really, but it does seem to be evening out in skin tone. But yeah, that's, that is my routine and I highly recommend those three things combined. It seems like a lot of a faff, but let's face it, if it works, it's worth the faff. I'm now five months post-op and I'm actually really pleased about where it all is. There isn't really much else to say in terms of my five months this, this month. I just really want to share this um, 
new skin care routine with you. I think what I've noticed on my arm is it seems to be kind of less swollen around the edges. Like this wrist was quite puffy here and it just seems to be a lot flatter. It just seems like the arm's a lot, I don't know, a lot more joined. It was kind of looking like in pieces almost, like the hand was stuck on. But it, it just seems to be a lot more flushed with the skin now. That's the word I'm looking for. It looks to be a lot more flushed with the rest of my arm. Apart from that, nothing else has really changed. Um, I'm still getting more feeling down below, which is amazing. The feeling is still not, it's, you can feel it's erotic sensation and it's going to be fine. But at the moment it's just too sensitive really to touch my new penis. So I'm using my old equipment still. Um, so I can still achieve orgasm, but at the moment that's through my old equipment. And, but sensation is continuing to increase. So I'm very optimistic that it'll be fine. I plan to do a big update at the end of this month because on the 24th I'll then be six months post-op, which is amazing. So on my Tumblr account, because I obviously don't share pictures on YouTube, I talk about lower surgery on here, but in terms of showing really intimate graphic pictures, I leave that to my Tumblr account. And on there I will do a big six month catch up in terms of like pictures from early on right till now and do the whole collage so you can see the progression of the healing. I will do something on YouTube as well. I might just kind of do a kind of brief synopsis of the whole thing so far somehow I'll try but if you have anything you want me to answer any specific questions any ideas about a vlog that you'd like um, concerning lower surgery please do drop me a message as always and I am always very happy to help so take care everybody look after yourselves and I will see you on Wednesday bye bye